Hi everybody, I'm back, and sorry it's taken me half the day to get back, but just busy doing Chris the Christmas thing, so, um, yeah, I'm going to do a gift wrapping segment, um, I did this last year, um, uh, I know it's way back since I have almost 457 uploads, you can go back and look at it, I did a, how to wrap a gift in th with three pieces of tape, um, this is a menage -a um, the Nicki Minaj, and I just wrapped it just now so yeah um, I can wrap them pretty fast I used to work at Macy's as a matter of fact in Seattle and I worked in the gift wrap department crazy enough as it is but I learned a lot of stuff I did that when I was going to high school so um, they kind of put us through school on how to wrap a gift as crazy as it sounds yeah so anyway I know how to make bows by hand and yeah so I will do a segment on that. It's pretty interesting. As long as you have the wire ribbon, I showed you the ribbon that I got at Costco. Um, you can pretty much bend it, make it do anything, you know. And uh, I like the wire ribbon, you know. You can just, and then I trim the ends so it, it does this little dovetail. I have a trick on how to do that. You just fold it in half and take the scissors and cut it down. But I'm not, not doing this right now. So we'll do that later on another um, blog but so for right now I'm going to do uh, real quick I'm wearing if anybody's wondering I, I often get questions on my lipstick the Nicki Minaj gloss I've been wearing this a lot lately because it seems like it's just a perfect color and I think it's a limited edition which I'm rather upset about this is all the lip lipstick I have left this is the Nicki Minaj lipstick that matches the gloss so when this is gone I hope I'm not SOL. But anyway, so let's get going. So, um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of orders out to Victoria's Secret. I have a bunch of free comped items coming. So, yeah, those will be pouring in. Um, I have numerous rewards cards from all the purchases. Yeah, this is just crazy. Um, so hopefully one of these will be... Um, the big one, five hundred dollars. That would be great. Anyway, so I want to show you this before I start sewing it. The pajama bottoms. These are small. As you guys know, I'm very small myself. Um, a small to me is like an extra large. So this is the Henley pajamas. I can't show you the catalog they came out of, but they're darling. These are not from the pink line. Um, I do, although I do have a lot of pajamas from the pink line. Um, I reviewed them last year. My husband got them for me. We both had our own Victoria's Secret cards, and they were, it was crazy, crazy. My whole closet, drawers, everything I own is from Victoria's. Everything, top to bottom, bottom to top. Anyway, so let me show you these. They're really darling. They came with a free pair of slippers, but these are huge, so I need to get out my sewing machine, take, the, take them in. They're huge. I just do not like my pajama bottoms. I like them a little baggy, but not this baggy. So let me show you. And these are a small. I didn't ask. I'm scooting back. I didn't. They probably came in an extra small. I didn't ask. But anyway, here's what they look like. They're darling. But these are huge. Look at these. So yeah, they're very big. I didn't even look at the size. Maybe the size is wrong. No, it says small petite. Oh my goodness. So yeah, they're meant to wear with the bottom with it curved like but look at how huge that waist is. Wow, I didn't realize how big that is. I guess they're meant to be they have little pockets, which is nice. Um I'll just have to peg them and then I'll I can come back on and show you what they look like. Pretty much we usually when I peg them is what I do is get the sewing machine out and I turn them inside out, pin them, and then I just take about an inch or two all the way down. Um, I like, I'll probably start it like this, this line right here and go all the way down. Probably take them in. I'll take about that much off. So when I'm done, they'll be about that wide in the leg. Because this is just way too big, I think. Yeah, I'll be they'll be falling off of me. So anyway, there's the, the bottoms. They're real cute. They have buttons. I'm hoping they go on sale um, over Black Friday. But see how huge they are. Those will fall off of me. Yeah, and these are a small petite. There's a tag if you can see it. Come on, focus camera. See small petite. 
So yeah, they're pink. Um, there was lots of different patterns. I was really just kind of didn't know which one the model was wearing them. Obviously hers were taken in. They were not, they didn't fit. They didn't look this big. And then they came with this um, Henley shirt. And I thought, how cute is this? I can just, I, I can wear this with a t-shirt out, you know, with jeans. I thought it's darling. It doesn't look anything like something you'd wear with pajamas. So, yeah, um, it'd even look cute under the sweater I have on right now. So here's the, um, they called it a Henley shirt. And this is a small petite also that goes with it so I could button unbutton it and wear it with a couple tank tops underneath it during the day and uh, it looks really warm wear it to bed I don't like tight clothing at bed at be bedtime and I don't like to call them nightgowns you guys saw the pink I'll show you real quick so there's that order and then it, that order came with matching slippers now you guys haven't, I haven't showed you what I do to slippers, but it is insane. When I wear slippers, I, my feet must be bowed out or something. Every pair of slippers my husband has bought me, they are just trash because I wear them. We don't wear our shoes in the house, and being that we're getting a new house, we definitely don't wear our shoes in the house. So every time we come in, we take our shoes off. So I we all we automatically put our slippers on. My husband has some slippers I bought him last year. We can't find them, but anyway, mine died. I had to throw them away. They were just really bad. So I got matching slippers free that go with the pajamas. These are pretty heavy duty. Now what happens with my slippers is they tend to bow out like this. My mom got me that were some that ha were like they looked like kind of bear claws. They were purple and black and they ended up they were really comfortable they were about this high with like cushion and the more I wore them they were like this and it was really bad really I had to get rid of them but the slippers that I found worked the best for me were the slide on kind like these um, that had these have a little bit more weight to them they're a little you know what I mean um, so yeah, these go for $25, um, and hopefully I will not destroy these. So yeah, they're cute how they match the pajamas. I have a, where it says six, size 6 and a half, I got a 7, just so they're a little bigger. Bonk myself in the head. So yeah, these were free. They came with the pajamas. Um, so yeah, that's a Victoria's. Uh, oh, I was going to show you that other. I don't like to call them nightgowns. It is unwrapped. I can show you. It's Starling. Um, let me grab that. Let's see, I need to get up. Whoops. And I have another Lush coming. I asked, I sent the one that was broken back, and they accidentally sent another Lush out. They said, just don't worry about it. I wanted a refund because I was going to order something else. I was afraid it would come broken again. But anyway, uh, here is the one that I couldn't show you that was unwrapped. The one that the this is the sleep shirt. I don't like to call them nightgowns. Here it is. Um, I have so many pajamas, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's it comes a little below the knee. The problem with this one is I don't like the long sleeves. I feel um, kind of tied in. They're very tight. Just the long sleeves kind of bother me. So I may take this one back. Um, yeah, so it's washed. I had it folded up in the bag with the receipt and everything. It just is bad. It's too tight. Um, anyway, so I thought I would blog it. It's very, very cute. Very. I would suggest if you got the right size, it would be perfect. So there is that. And that's pretty much all I have right now from Victoria's. That's all I got. I was expecting my Etsy. Um, I think she said it would be here Friday, and she's right. It will probably be here tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, and I can't wait till that comes. I cannot wait. So, let's see. That's that. And then I may be on after I do dinner. Um, I can think up a couple other things. I still have this. Um, I have somebody that wants a sweater tag done. I'm not quite sure what that is. I guess it's a review of my sweaters I where I load them all up and bring them in. Um, I hope 
you don't want me to put each one on. Um, I have hundreds of sweaters. Most of them are from Victoria's because that's pretty much the only place I shop. It's hard to shop online too, but anyway. Um, I have this still that we need to review, and this is very, very good. I mean, it gives you an example of when you're shopping for perfumes and stuff for family, mother, whoever, you know, this this, this is packed. I mean, it is full. There is so much stuff in here, hundreds of different perfumes, clones. So if you guys, I, one of my subs said, you know, she wanted me to go over the scent event bag, so I will finish this. Um, we can't do it in one. I think there's way too many. So I will go through, sniff them, try them, let you know which ones. I love that Marchesa. I love the Prada candy. Went and we went and got the Prada candy. It was very expensive. It didn't seem to hold. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about that. It's wrapped. Um, so if we don't do something soon, after Christmas, it's probably going to be too late to take it back. So I don't know. It didn't hold. It came with lotion, like a carrier lotion. I tried it. Uh, it didn't hold on me. It had that dark yellow color, so I figured it would. It was a, the pure, pure perfume, too. Anyway, not to switch from Victoria's. Let me show you the outfit of the day, and then I will um, upload this. These are different pants. Um, there's my Victoria's sweater. I love it. I wear different white shirts. I always wear my Victoria's Secret uh, tank tops under everything. I just love them. And then my pants, I got these. I love these. They have like fishnets in them underneath that are sewn in. They're black and they're kind of shaggy looking. But I love them. I got them at Forever 21. And they're kind of tie-dyed. And then, of course, let me get rid of my pillow. Um, once again, my boots and my peekaboo socks. Now they're coming in handy. I got these from Etsy. I love them absolutely love them. I ha she sent me a couple pairs. I got I have a brown pair. I ordered a pink pair. I can't find that other pair. I need to find those from the other company, the cream colored ones that are crocheted, but I just love them. And then the back of these pants um, are just, yeah, they just have buttons and that's what they look like. So yeah, they're really cute. I love them. And they're just kind of ripped up. So yeah. Um, most of my pants, excuse me, are ripped up. That's just kind of the style I like. So let me fix my chair. And then, yeah, I've been talking to you guys about this fortune cookie soap box. I haven't gotten it yet, but it did get shipped today. Um, since I moved, that messes everything up for everybody. So that's probably what happened. Um, yeah, the different address or... Um, I think my card didn't go through something. I don't know, but it wasn't, it was an honest mistake or I don't know. But anyway, so it will be here soon. So I can't wait for that. And then we have uh, a Mad Mac. Um, keep ordering guys that scrub. Uh, DeSherry is going to make it in bigger vats. She said she had to because of the amount of orders. So thank you, you guys. Just make sure you mention my name. Um, wherever you order, Macy's, Mad, uh, Mad Mac, because it just helps. It helps all bloggers to mention their name. I mean, because uh, we're this is like a full time job. I'm not kidding you. It is a full time job. So, um, oh, also, I was gonna re go over. I'm just kind of going over some things that I'm going to go over. <laughs> I'm gonna go over and review. Um, everything that I pulled out of that advent, advent calendar. I'm going to p tell you my favorite things that I like. I really, um, I might do that video next, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to say much about it right until I do it, but there's some things that I really, really like and things that I haven't really tried yet, so this is all benefit stuff, so anyway, this is everything that came out of the calendar. That's quite a bit of stuff crazy quite a bit of stuff but except, oh except for this this is um, the me 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 uh, illuminator I love this from glossy box um, you can always tell when I have this on it makes my cheeks shine it's a real light pink yeah but anyway so and then I will do a total makeup review I know everybody's been asking to see my asking to see my Mac collection all my makeup um, 
yeah so before we get into the moving stage um, and then one more thing uh, I did my gloss, glossy box so my ipsy is done for the month um, so next will be Christmas I'm so excited fortune cookie soap will be here and then I have another box that sells out in three minutes it's coming up on the 26th so I have to be sitting in front of the computer at 6 a.m. And I have to be on PayPal and get it in three minutes. And last time, the last six times, I missed it. It, it sold out before I could type type anything in. I was so, but the Christmas box is the best box. Wait till I blog this. Nobody's heard of it, I'm sure. It's, and I don't want to say anything because if I tell any more people, the box is just going to be gone. I know it. Anyway, so. Uh, leave me a message if you have any questions, concerns, anything you want me to do. Um, I'm going to do my 20 favorites of the year and my 20 non absolutely do not buys of the year. So, as uh, Bentley Blonde, I think her name is, I really like her. Her crap products, I'm not going to call it that. I like how she, I think that's cute, but I will probably call them my least favorite products or whatever. So I'm going to do my 20 favorites and my 20 least. So I'm getting those gathered up. I will do that soon. So anyway, I don't want to make this too long of a video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will also do a gift wrapping video. I think I did a pretty good job on this. I really like this wrapping paper. I like foil. I noticed that when I worked at at Macy's they used a lot of foil papers it's a lot easier to wrap with it's not any more expensive either it doesn't tear on the corners foil paper it's a lot um, thicker than just the plain papers it's it does pay to spend a dollar more a dollar or two more per roll otherwise it's just going to tear in the corners if you get the really cheap paper it's just not worth it it is not at all worth it I make my own tags also and my own Christmas cards so yeah I have a lot of stuff to, to do but all my cards are done so yeah another person wanted me to review all my cards I really I use the warming gun I do all the what's it called I can't where you do the I can't remember. I have a Macy's bag with the handles that is, it probably has 300 homemade cards in it. So I'll have to pull some of those out and do a review on those, show you those. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will upload this and I will see you later, hopefully, and definitely tomorrow with my Etsy order and a couple others, I think. So stay tuned and I will be back, hopefully. And have a good night. See you later. Stay safe. Sub, sub, sub. Love you all. Bye.